Hello, everyone. I'm Russ. And I'm Angie, the pastor here at Hope United Methodist Church. This year has been especially tough for both Angie and myself. We have missed time with our family and friends in Colorado. We have all worked especially hard navigating how to do church in a new and different way. And we miss spending time with all of you in person at Hope UMC. I was blessed to have an entire soccer season this year uh, amidst COVID and all the issues and changes that we've had to deal with. And Russ's team did great and made it to the playoffs. And I am thankful to have been able to complete all my ordination paperwork and I'm officially entering into the final stages of becoming an elder in full connection inside the United Methodist Church denomination. Our prayers are to stay healthy and for hope to continue to flourish and grow in the coming years. We look forward to all of the wonderful things that the Holy Spirit will do in 2021. And we wish everyone a very safe and Merry Christmas. We look forward to seeing you all and we miss you all very much. Merry Christmas. Bye. Hi, I'm Carol Matthew. I'm Dick Bauman. We all know 2020 has been a real unusual year, but we're trying to find the blessings in it. And for us, it's that our family has been able to stay healthy. We're especially grateful for the fact that my daughter Amy has finished her treatment for breast cancer and is very healthy and feeling really good again. So we are extremely grateful for that in this year of turmoil. We're asking for prayers for our granddaughters, Leah and Lily. It's been a tumultuous year. We've yet to see them for a long time and we pray for healing and reconciliation for everybody that's involved. We wish all of you a Merry Christmas and we miss seeing you all. Merry Christmas. Christmas, Hope United Methodist Church family. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to everybody and say Merry Christmas from the Mako family and Happy New Year. Um, things that we are grateful this year um, for 2020, uh, we're very grateful for our family and our friends. Um, we're grateful for um, our health that we have. Um, and for the healthcare workers that are there to help us when we need our need for them. Um, we're grateful for our jobs and the jobs providing a roof over our head and the food on the table for us. Um, another thing that I am grateful for is that I'm able to help um, those that are in need, um, whether it's giving time, service, or um, um, tangible things, um, things that they need, food, clothing, um, but yeah, I'm very, there's a lot of things that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for all of you guys as well. So, um, have a happy, um, or a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye. Merry Christmas from the Hershey family. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Hope family. This year we are thankful for our family and for this sweet baby who was born in February. And we pray for continued health and happiness and that everyone has a Merry Christmas.
Merry Christmas from Dan and Bev Hadley. We're thankful for all of our family and friends and for good health, and we pray for everybody to have a good new year. Happy New Year. that I have is for Roger Morton. He is battling um, COVID-19 right now, and he is not doing very well. So if we could pray for him, that would be great. Hi, Hope family. I'm Jennifer Fogarty. Um, I appreciate all of the prayers that you have been sending me through my cancer journey, and I'm very grateful for them. I'm really grateful that I was strong throughout 2020, even before my cancer diagnosis, and I am grateful to be working in Billings and among such wonderful medical staff at Billings Clinic as well. Um, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year and beautiful tidings for 2021. This is Janet Olery, wishing a blessed Christmas to all my Hope family. Uh, the year has had ups and downs. In January, I had to have cranial surgery. That was a down, but the up was everything was benign. In June, my son John and Wendy announced they were expecting a baby in December. The baby was born five weeks early, but is doing very well. That was a great up for us, and I want to wish you all a Happy New Year. Chris McFadgen and I want to 
Tell everybody Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I'm very thankful this year for my family and for my friends and that we've all had a pretty healthy year. Although things are different this year, it's been a good year. We've spent time together and had a good time. Happy Christmas! Hi, we're the Pinnock family. I'm Felicia and for 2020 I feel super blessed that our family has stayed healthy and safe. I'm Ken and I feel super blessed for 2020 that I've been able to go back to school. I'm Lauren and I'm blessed I get to be able to play with my friends. And I'm Brad and I feel blessed that uh, we've been able to stay connected even being apart and being able to, to have virtual means to connect to everybody. And uh, as far as prayers go, we just hope and pray that folks continue to be uh, safe and healthy and happy and to be kind to one another uh, through the rest of 2020 and into 2021 and beyond. from Jody Kobel. I'm holding mom's Christmas present to herself, which I really love, so I'm going to steal it. No, not really. Anyhow, he's the reason for the season. I am so thankful that we can spend it with mom and dad. We've got a great church we can go to, and we're just so blessed, even though we are living in very strange times. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. Christmas from John and Georgine Coble. This is going to be a really different year. No fancy parties, no big family dinners. But you know, every story has two sides. So let's flip this over. And the best Christmas gift that all of us have ever received is what Mary and Joseph gave to us on Christmas Eve. So have a Merry Christmas and hope next year is better.
Merry Christmas. I am thankful for that despite it might look different, that I still have a community that, you know, still supports me and that I support them and, and we still rally behind one another. Thank you.